has launched a public awareness campaign against management for the Indianapolis Star. They claim job cuts and outsourcing are hurting the quality of the newspaper. Six News reporter Chance Walter joins us now with more from the union president and what Indy Star readers are saying. Chance? You may have seen the billboard or heard the radio ads or even been handed a leaflet around town declaring, save the star. The Indianapolis Newspaper Guild is calling on the public to put pressure on the newspaper's leadership. At 16th and Delaware, there's a sign pleading with readers to help save the star. This is the first billboard. We expect to have several more around the city in the coming months. The Indianapolis Newspaper Guild is not happy with the direction Indie Star Management is taking the paper. The website, SaveTheStar.com, cites severe cutbacks to news staff since parent company Gannett acquired the paper in 2000. The Guild is also less than pleased with what they say is a threat to outsource several newspaper production jobs from Indianapolis to Kentucky. And we're a local newspaper. How do you uh, have part of the production of the newspaper done in another state and still maintain your local sense of place? The public awareness campaign comes as management is in the thick of negotiations with its union. Six News reached out to Indy Star Management and received a written response saying we have just started the process of collective bargaining and fully intend to respect and honor that process. We are also looking forward to reaching a new contract with the union as soon as possible. However, because we have just begun negotiations, it would not be appropriate or proper to discuss or comment on union activities. Guild President Bobby King and longtime readers we spoke with are worried local content will suffer if the paper stays on the road it's on. It just keeps shrinking and the columns keep going down, okay, and the reporting is not great. I would want it to do well. I mean, I don't want to see it done away with altogether. The Save the Star website and the Guild president are encouraging readers to call Indie Star management to express their concerns. They've even posted the names and phone numbers on their website. Chance Walser, 6 News.